Hey, welcome. Dieses Video wurde aufgenommen, bevor Brot Peterlin als Sommelier für Filmentwickler reich und berühmt wurde. In the last episode of Top Shit Photography. Hey Zdrava, welcome back. Uh, in this vlog I'm going to develop those rolls of film with uh, Rodinal, Pyrocat, ID11 or Kodak D76 and also I bought all the ingredients for developer, film developer FX1 which is modern developer uh, without solvent, uh, very sharp. I have quite a lot to do so let's get going. But before we start with the cooking, let me share with you that I finally fixed that beauty, uh, that beautiful old timer and I'm going to install it here, but it's too crowded here, we will have to rearrange and that's the best part of it, you know, because the dark room is a living thing, you know, you change things. Cooking time! Okay, uh, I'm going to mix four developers now. Safety first. Some of the, some of the ingredients is poisonous. Gloves, apron, and you should wear glasses. Oh, so, you know, every darkroom is a little bit different. Every workshop is a little bit different. This is something that I really like in my darkroom, you know. So when I'm mixing my stuff, you know, metal is, is um, poisonous, hydroquinone is poisonous. But everything stays here, you know, and then on the end, I just wash it. And nothing gets out of the sink. If you need totally dry place, you just have like a tray, you turn it around and you have a dry place. Okay, first we're gonna mix Kodak D76, also known as Ilford ID11. What we need is metal, hydroquinone, developing agents, a borax activator, sodium sulfate, uh, solvent and water. First we need water, uh, temperature around 40 degrees Celsius. We are making one liter but we will make, first you fill it up half or no, 800 milli milliliters and then we start with, uh, it's very important the uh, order, we start with metal, two grams. We have spoon Magnetic stir. When this is mixed, we add 100 grams of sodium sulfate. Okay. This is uh, mixed, uh, this is dissolved. Now we add uh, hydroquinone, five grams. Actually, I have to use fresh spoon. Okay, that's good. 
hydroquinone will not work if uh, if it's just like that because it has to be activated. Um, it has to be a little bit alkaline so the solution works. So that's why we put borax inside, uh, two grams. On the end, you have to don't forget to add uh, to top up to 100, uh, 1,000 milliliters to one liter. Kodak D76, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to filter it just because precaution-wise, because you know it might be some particles inside that I don't want to have it on the film. Let's label it. It's very important. D76. Next developer that we are mixing is FX1. So what we need is like a, we need a solution of potassium iodide, which is 0.001%, which means one gram of potassium iodide. Too much. Perfect. So this goes here. Yeah. Just to be sure that everything is dissolved. After it's dissolved, we take 10 milliliters of this. Oops. That's, we discard this solution. We put those 10 milliliters in, we fill it up for one liter. Am I becoming a homeopath? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Uh, that's what it is, you know, it's um, in the recipe goes 0.001% solution of potassium iodide which means one gram in 100 liters of distilled water. 100 milliliters of water, that is 1% solution. Ugh. 100 liters of water, and it's 0.0. .0 zero one percent you take one gram of potassium iodide you put it you put it plus uh, one liter of uh, water and then from this you take 10 milliliters and you dis uh, dissolve it into the one or diluted into 1000 milliliters of water so the result is 0.001 percent solution am i smart huh livers now we have to make a solution a for for this uh, fx1 developer and so here we go so what we need is distilled water you first you fill it up to 900 milliliters then we need methyl five grams now in this um, darkroom cookbook that i have read the before you put methyl into water methyl will oxidize so you drop a pinch of sodium sulfate sodium sulfate very little Okay. That will actually prevent the oxidation, oxidis, or minimize the oxidi oxidation of metal. Throw it in, and because inside is a lot, I'm just doing like that, all the metal inside. Okay. Okay, this will dissolve. Meanwhile, we will weigh uh, 50 grams of sodium sulfide. Mm. 
you see um, metal still didn't dissolve it will take a little bit it's better to if the the water is warmed up uh, to 30 30 uh, between 30 and 40 degrees Celsius I have a heater here so it's actually heating up but it will dissolve Okay, this is uh, mixing and what else? So we have 0.001% of solution of uh, potassium iodide and we put inside 50, 50 milliliters. That's homeopathic, eh? <laughs> okay. FX1 developer, solution A. And we need to top it up to make 1,000 milliliters. And now solution B. Again, this is distilled water that I warm it up. Here is uh, FX1 uh, component A and component B. It should be stored in the brown bottles, but I have like zillion bottles, but all of them are full. So, ah, my steering rod, uh, steering mat. What you do, you take uh, another magnet and you pull it up. You bring it out. Levers. Okay, FX, component A, component B. That is done. <coughs> okay, the last developer that... No, it's not the last. It's the third developer that I, we will try out is uh, Pyrocat HD. So first we have to mix it. I bought it on eBay from some Italian source. I don't remember. Pyrocat also comes in uh, two components, just as FX1 uh, has in the B component potassium carbonate. This we will mix immediately. In the stock solution A, we have phenidone, pyrocat, sodium metabisulfite, and potassium bromide. Cooking time. Again, we're going to use uh, distilled water. So we put like 150 millime milliliters of uh, of distilled water and then so this is dissolved and now we put it into the brown bottle And now it's dissolved, and uh, now we go with phenidone. Phenidone, phenidone is here. It's a really nice package. Okay, let's put it in. So, something is still left inside. That's my usual routine that I actually I pour in water. So actually now I will have all the ingredients that it was inside. And then the last one is potassium bromide. And now we top it up to 200. Oh. And my beautiful clock in the back. Okay, we have D76, FX1, Pyrocat and Rodinal. Thank you for watching. As you see, I, I set myself again like 
mountain of work and I'm testing not one but actually four developers and that's why you know I will have to make more parts. No, it's not uh, Commodore. It's not. <laughs> Actually, you guys don't even know what Commodore is. Anyway, uh, it uh, doesn't matter. Failed joke. Uh, this is Yobo Autolab 1000 processor, film processor. So you can, I can develop uh, with this um, black and white slides, color negative, what I want. And. Um, but it was uh, laying around for 15 years or even more, uh, so I have to clean it and, you know, make it make it work again. Patron, you can be my patron. You can, uh, you know, you can get some rewards for, you know, directly from this dark room. I can send you some pictures. Or if you want to buy me uh, just a cup of tea because I don't drink alcohol or coffee, uh, you know, you can do it directly from PayPal.me. Uh, Anyway, either way, it doesn't, doesn't matter. The most important thing is that...